Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about saphenous vein Doppler ultrasound. These are transverse views showing the long saphenous vein or the great saphenous vein and the short saphenous vein which is also called small saphenous vein. The long saphenous vein can be seen between the hyperechoic saphenous fascia and also another hyperechoic deep muscular fascia and this hypoechoic area is the adipose tissue. This type of appearance is termed Egyptian eye sign where the hyperechoic fascia surrounds the long saphenous vein in transverse view. The short saphenous vein is also surrounded by hyperechoic fascia in a similar manner. Below the deep muscular fascia, we can also see the lateral and medial gastrocnemius muscles. Here is a longitudinal view showing the saphenofemoral junction. This right here is the superficial epigastric vein. The normal AP diameter of long saphenous vein is usually less than 6 millimeters approximately. This is the long saphenous vein. It joins the common femoral vein at the saphenofemoral junction. And over here is a case of varicose veins. Varicose veins usually occur due to incompetence of long saphenous vein or short saphenous vein, but the causes are variable. In such cases, we may find dilated saphenofemoral junction and a dilated long saphenous vein. Here is a transverse view showing a dilated long saphenous vein associated with varicose veins. We can see a dilated lumen of the long saphenous vein. Varicose veins can cause blood flow reflux in the long saphenous vein. This reflux can be seen using Doppler. It can be seen using color Doppler, but color Doppler evaluation can cause errors. So it is best seen with spectral Doppler to assess for venous reflux. Augmentation which consists of calf squeeze and release can be used. A well salva maneuver can also be used to evaluate venous reflux. In this image we can see a normal spectral waveform of the long saphenous vein. When the calf squeeze is released, there is a small amount of retrograde flow. This small amount of backward flow is normal. And this duration of backward flow can be calculated on the spectral waveform. In normal cases, it should be less than 0.5 seconds. If it is less than 0.5 seconds, this is normal. However, in varicose veins, we can get a large amount of reflux and you can see a large waveform of retrograde flow. If this reflux time is more than 0.5 seconds, it is considered moderate reflux. And if this retrograde flow duration is more than one second, it is considered severe retrograde flow. The same criteria for reflux grading is used, whether it is done by Velselva maneuver or through augmentation. Here is another image showing venous reflux in the long saphenous vein. This is in the setting of 
varicose veins. In this spectral waveform, the reflux is more prominent. It is seen after calf squeeze and it can also be seen after a Valsalva maneuver and this duration can be calculated and the reflux can be graded. Here the color is blue. So when the color is blue, the flow in the spectral waveform is often seen below the baseline. Blue color indicates that the flow is moving away from the ultrasound probe and that is why it appears below the baseline. But if there is reflux, the blood will move in this direction and that indicates a direction towards the probe. That is why the reflux will be seen above the baseline. This is due to Doppler angle and the position of the probe. The duration of reflux is much larger in this image. This is the retrograde flow. This could be a reflux duration of 3 to 4 seconds and that is a significant reflux. On color Doppler you will actually see a red color flow which will indicate reflux. The red color in this vein will be towards the probe and the red color is seen above the baseline on spectral Doppler whereas the blue color indicates flow below the baseline that is flow away from the probe. In severe cases of varicose veins you may also find reflux during diastole. There is a prolonged reflux seen in this case. This reflux is at the saphenofemoral junction. Here is an image of a normal saphenopopliteal junction. This is the short saphenous vein. The normal diameter of short saphenous vein can be between 3 to 5 millimeters approximately. In case of varicose veins, the saphenopopliteal junction may be dilated and the short saphenous vein can also be dilated. Here is a case of short saphenous vein thrombosis. A thrombus will be seen as a hyperechoic or medium level echogenicity structure occupying the lumen of the vein. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.